Hey guys, today I want to explain to you why I prefer the open-handed playing, meaning I don't cross my arms or hands while playing. I will show you my approach to this playing style using a few examples. I believe that having the hi-hat on our left side but playing it with the right hand is just due to the historical development of the drum set. The hi-hat pedal was invented after the bass drum pedal, so the right foot was already occupied. And of course everything they usually played with the right hand on a cymbal, they now played on the hi-hat with the right hand. Then the drum sets grew bigger, two bass drums were incorporated and the hi hand went further to the left side, but drummers just copied this technique from the older ones and got used to it. So I believe it is kind of similar to the traditional grip, which had a very specific function in marching bands. This was then taken to the drum set and this way of playing got handed down to the younger players. But at a certain point we realized that there are some reasons to prefer matched grip over traditional grip. And only a few drummers still use traditional grip for different reasons. So you see that this doesn't really make any sense. And if a child that never saw a drummer would pick up a pair of sticks, it would never start to play with crossed hands intuitively. This is more natural and also freer. It's like the difference of sitting like this or like this. This is why I think it is also a mental approach toward our instrument and the audience. Therefore, I suggest that we should abandon this old system because a lot of new possibilities arise if you open up yourself. A lot of drummers would say that they preferred this style of playing because they are right-handed or left-handed. But I don't accept this argument because we drummers usually strive for ambidexterity in our limbs. And you practice this automatically if you play everything with both hands. In the beginning this feels very odd and is very hard too. But you learn a lot this way and get new inspiration. This is why you can just look at it as a fun exercise, even though you are not always using it. I myself play on a completely symmetrical setup and can mirror every exercise I practice also with my feet. I find that this is a very effective exercise for your coordination and it is also a good mental training if you have to learn something new that is virtually familiar. You will get a lot of stimulation if you try this. As a result you will notice that the familiar things you play with your strong hand or strong foot will improve even more. This principle is called bilateral training. A lot of you probably play double bass drum. Playing some grooves with the left foot only is a great way to train your feet equally. If you have mastered the open-handed playing, you are much better prepared for different situations. For example, sometimes you have to play on someone else's kit, where the hi-hat is placed further left than you are used to, or much lower. Or maybe someone asks you to quickly demonstrate a beat on a lefty kit. You just have the ability to quickly switch gears. And of course, sometimes you will just lose your right stick. Well, now let's talk about the concrete advantages in your playing. One of these is that you can include other instruments in your groove without breaking up the hi-hat pattern.
The open-handed playing is especially useful when playing offbeat rhythms, because here your hands would get in each other's way a lot, and your weak hand is used to playing the offbeat anyway. And if you don't cross your hands anymore, you can set up your hi-hat much lower and cut off the rod like I did. This way, you have much more freedom to move in this area and you have more room to play cymbals here. And you can also do a lot of nice stick tricks if your hands don't interfere as much anymore. And finally, I want to show you a nice trick you can use if you want to have a double bass drum sound but only have one pedal. Of course, a lot of people will say, I don't need all this. Surely everyone will eventually find out what he or she needs and doesn't need. I just want to give you some encouragement to think outside of the box and just try something new. Our instrument is still very young in comparison and of course provides opportunities for innovations like no other. You can learn the open-ended playing simply by switching the hands. If you do this, start slowly and don't be frustrated if it takes some time. If you are used to something, the process of relearning takes even more time. But it's worth it. Just start with simple grooves. It's a great opportunity to again focus on the really important things. Accuracy, groove and timing. Back to basics. A real chance to listen very closely again. And as always, practice with a metronome and increase the tempo slowly. Precision is always more important than speed. If you play precisely, the speed will come on its own. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm always looking forward to reading your comments, suggestions and questions. Have fun trying out these tips and I'll see you in the next video.